Today I'll show you the easiest way to create professional vector logos without any design skills or software. It's all done at Logodiffusion.com and takes only seconds. In addition to logos, there are over 45 styles you can try, meaning you can create any type of asset for your brand in one place, which I think is pretty awesome. Hey everyone, it's Guga, I hope you're doing amazing. I have a few ideas for today's video, so without further ado, let's start by sketching my first logo. I'll go to the image to image workspace and click the sketching editor. My first idea is to create a pet store logo and I want it to feature a cute minimalist dog face, so with a small brush, I'll start painting what I have in mind. Okay, I think it looks pretty good so far. I'm just gonna fix the edges to make it look as good as possible. I'll also make it a tad bigger and center it. Since I'm looking for the minimalist version, I think pictorial would look pretty good on this. And in style settings, I'm gonna choose organic in the structure. In character composition, I'll choose portrait. In detail level, let's go with minimalist. And logo styles, I'll go with modern. I'll keep the image strength to around seven. And let's turn on use image colors because I really like the orange and I'm actually gonna increase it to seven as well to get the closer result. In the prompt, I'm gonna say minimalist, one color logo of a cute dog face and let's click generate all right so we took our rough sketch and made a professional logo out of it with smooth edges and more accurate structure it also adjusted the colors and chose very light beige to match our white background and beautiful orange to match our logo if you want closer results to your sketch you can simply increase image strengths and color to your liking but i love the results i think this is my favorite so i'll choose it and set it as input image because i want to add tiny detail Okay, I'll choose blue and I want to paint this tiny bow tie because I think it will look pretty cute on this logo. Okay, this is perfect. I'm just going to make it a tad smaller because I think it's too big at the moment. There we go. That looks perfect. I'll increase image colors to 10 because I really like the colors and I want to get a closer result. And in the prompt, I'm going to say minimalist orange logo of a cute dog face and a blue bow tie. All right, I think everything looks perfect. So let's click generate. All right, this is exactly what I was looking for. I think it came out perfect. It's very minimalist, colors are balanced and pretty original in my opinion. For the next one, I want to create a mascot logo for a rugby team. I'm looking for a clean, detailed mascot logo featuring, let's say, a grizzly bear. So I chose mascot and in the prompt, I'm gonna say a rugby team logo featuring a grizzly bear. In style settings, I'm gonna keep it detailed. In character composition, let's choose portrait and composition, let's choose side view. I don't have a sketch idea for this one, so I'm just gonna click generate and see what it offers. There you have it, a professional mascot logo of a grizzly bear. One of them has this text that we didn't ask for but things like that happen time to time and it's totally normal and never anything major. What I like is that it created few angles for us which is always super helpful because you want to see which angle looks best for you. Now as you can see I created this mascot logo using the B model which is the model that's really good at creating detailed logos and graphics. But I also want to show you the A model which is really good at creating more minimalist logos with less detail. I'll just change the model to A. Let's also switch details to minimalist and keep everything else how it is. Here's the results of model A. As you can see the results are a lot more minimalist, it's more modern and trendy I would say. It doesn't have shadows and highlights and in general is very simple compared to the B model. Now let's say you like this one from the B model and you want to create more minimalist version using the same logo. To do that, just set the version you like as an input image. Make sure you have the model A turned on. I'll set the image rank to 8 and turn use image colors on as well to get more closer results. Everything else is looking really good so let's click generate. 
As you can see, these are the results we got with this. It took our input image and made it a lot simpler. It did follow the overall structure and color palette, but removed all the extra details. The logo has the same look and feeling, but this version is a lot more simple and clean. Alright, for the next one, let's say I want to open an Asian restaurant. I love Asian food, so let's do that. So in logo design, I'm gonna choose logo type. In the main text, I'm gonna type name of the restaurant, let's say spicy walk. I'll turn off the letter type. In the type, let's say modern. Detail level, let's keep it minimalist. I'm gonna turn off style as well, and let's turn off font style as well. And in the prompt, I'm gonna say Asian restaurant called quotation mark spicy walk, and let's say fire elements. So I think everything is looking pretty good, so let's click generate. Alright, I got exactly what I had in mind. You can feel the spice in these logos, which is great. I love the color choice as well. I think red goes really well with black. Alright, now I really want to download vector files for all these logos and show you the quality in Illustrator. Simply click the image, then click vectorize image. Click vectorize again and download the vector file. I'll do the same with other logos and open them in Illustrator. What's great with our vector files is that it's grouped perfectly to make any changes as easy as possible. It's not grouped in unknown way like it is on most vectorizers. Here every shape is separate so it's really easy to change colors, move them around and do whatever you want. And shapes as you see are super clean which makes it basically production ready. It's not like you create logos on our website and then you need to think about how you'll make professional vectors out of it. You can just click vector and you're good to go. That was it for today. I showed you the easiest way to create professional, production-ready vector logos. What I did was just a tiny fraction of what Logo Diffusion can do. There is so much to explore and the possibilities are endless. I hope you enjoyed the video. More interesting videos and updates are coming very soon, so I hope I'll see you in the next video.